good morning everyone how are you so today i'm going to take you guys through a full day of the vegan foodie i have so much stuff planned today so i'm super excited about bringing you guys on i've been saying i'm going to do this vlog for a long time so finally the day is here um when i'm going to do the vlog it's Saturday, so my day isn't as structured as it would be during the weekday, but today I'm going to show you what a full day of the vegan foodie, aka the vegan vixen, consists of. So, what time is it? It's 8.40. I slept in late. Normally, I'm up at like 7, 8 o'clock but four six seven i'm normally up before eight but i'm about to get up now so start my morning routine so stay tuned for a day with the vegan foodie as i get up and get my life together so first things first i gotta walk roxy take roxy to the bathroom roxy come say good morning to everybody Say good morning. That's her saying good morning. So I'm about to take Roxy for her morning poop. I'll take you guys with me so you can see what I go through. It's part of a little workout too because when I take her to the bathroom, she be working me out. So I'm about to get up and take her to the bathroom and then back in the house so I can do my daily meditation. Roxy doing the most. Anyway, it's time for me to get up and start my day. see my boxes in the back I'm moving can't wait to show you guys in the place but before I consume anything for the day I start with drinking water I keep a jug I try to drink one of these every 24 hours sometimes I do sometimes I don't but anyway I start my morning with water What a good way to start my morning. With water. They always say drink water. I drink room temperature water. Because it starts your body off in a positive way. Get them organs running. So anyway, I'm about to put on my take Roxy to the bathroom clothes. And um, I'll be back. So me and Roxy are all dressed. Look at Roxy. So I'm about to take Roxy for her morning walk. I was gonna take her to the dog park, but I'm gonna actually take her for a walk, let her get her exercise in, cause I'm about to hit the gym after this. So she might as well get her workout in as well. So come on, Roxy. Say hi to the people. Roxy don't care. She's just trying to get outside. So. All right, so we're about to go outside and I'll catch you guys when we get off the elevator. It's freaking cold as, Roxy, get off the street. 
it's freaking cold as fuck in Atlanta. Like, y'all see that steam coming out of my mouth? Like, Atlanta don't know if it want to be warm, cold. Like, what the fuck? So, Roxy over here getting her morning bathroom routine in. So, like I was saying, it's cold as fuck. I'm ready to, like, wear my dresses and my heels. And I fucking can't because it's cold in Atlanta. And for all my vegans, this is vegan fur. Because I be having vegans like, oh my God, you're cold. No, this is vegan fur. So we good money. I love the animals for real, for real. I'm vegan for real, for real. I care about the planet for real, for real. And my clothes reflect it. Even if it is designer, baby. It's still vegan. I don't do leather. Well, sometimes I'm not even gonna lie. My new bag is leather, but I don't be out here getting fur and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, well, I'm about to finish walking Roxy and then I'll catch back up with you guys when I go into the house. Ooh, I need to get my hood together first. Oh, look, I found a dollar. I just found some money on the street. Uh, I found more. It was more than a dollar. Look, y'all. I just found three dollars. What a way to start my day, huh? See if I can find a hundred or a twenty round this mud. But anyway, all right, I'm about to take Roxy to the bathroom. And then I'll be back, but... Yay, I found some money today. So my day is starting out. <sighs> okay, so we are back from taking a walk and back from about the cold. And so every morning I have my vitamins, my herbs and all that kind of stuff. So today is no different. I'm actually just sharing it with you guys. So I have my cup of orange juice here. I have my ashwagandha. I actually have bought that to share with a boo, but he canceled, so I got a whole bottle to myself. Um, B12, because I'm going to the gym and I need my energy. Spirulina. I just started taking this. Um, and Golden Seal, because I was getting over a cold and I had this, so I just decided to finish out the bottle. I took a week off. And then I'm back at it. So I am about to take my herbs and then get started with my wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. So these are my herbs. Ashwagandha, spirulina, B12. And I did two drops of collodial silver. I'll be adding more herbs and vitamins to my diet when I move. I just have everything packed up. So, yeah. So, I have walked Roxy. I took my herbs for the day. So, now it's time for me to meditate. And I have my crystals to meditate. I have my rose quartz because a sister need more love, baby. And Jade, abundance. So, I always clean my crystals with Florida water. Keep in mind, I said I'm moving y'all, so excuse the mess. So I always clean my crystals before I meditate with Florida water. Just put a little on there. I'll rub them down so any negative energies are removed. And when I'm doing my meditation, I'll get clean clear divine messages um and yeah so it's time for me to get into my meditation my meditation 
is normally 30 minutes a day. I am trying um, one of a new meditation technique from one of my favorite YouTubers. I think his last name is Daughtry or Doty, Aaron Doty. I'll share the link below, but I've been doing this meditation because I'm single and so it's time for me to go to the next level. Oh, I'm sorry, I got a, a stain from brushing my teeth, but I'm single. So I've been doing a lot of um, just conjuring, you know, the spirit of love. And so this meditation, I read the comments and they were like, oh, I did it and it works. So I was like, let me try it because I'm tired of being single. And it's time for me to manifest my twin flame. So we'll see, you guys. You see, today, what's today? Uh, the 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do the meditation for, I did it twice this week. So I'm going to do it for a consecutive 30 days and after 30 days. Let's see if I'm manifesting my boo. But anyway, let's get into this meditation. But also, even if I wasn't doing the meditation for love, I always meditate before I deal with anybody, before I talk on the phone, before I check Instagram, before I do anything. I meditate for 30 minutes every day and I do mindful meditation. It's just that I'm trying a new technique. And so we'll see. Check out my lashes. Shout out to Lay for getting my lashes together, my nails. Amy at Lush Nail Atlantic. But anyway, let's get into this meditation. time for me to go to the gym i woke up talked to my dad talked to my son then my meditation walk roxy so now it's time for me to get in the gym so stay tuned because we about to head to the gym y'all and i'm so excited about my weight loss too just a side note i know my legs skinny but that body though Ooh. all right so let's head to the gym. So I'm at the gym, about to get my workout in. I'm about to do 30 minutes of cardio on the elliptical, and then we're gonna head over to the weights. So um, let's get this started. All right, I can't be on here and work out. So I'll see you guys in a minute in 30. Okay, so I have, ooh, look at that back shot. But anyway, I have completed my 30 minutes of cardio. You see, I'm sweating like fizz nook. So I am about to do my weight. So I'm actually gonna pop the camera up so you guys can see me doing my weight regiment and all of the things that I do to slim this body down and work on this booty. But anyway, so stay tuned. So I'm done with my workout. So now it's time for me to go get dressed so I can go shopping and handle a couple meetings. So stay tuned. Okay, so you see, I am dressed now. It's time for me to start my day. I was supposed to have a meeting earlier, but they haven't answered the phone. So a sister got things to do. So I'm about to head to Ikea so I can get some things for my new home. And then also I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I'm cooking tomorrow for a special segment for the vegan foodie, the vegan vixen. And then also I gotta make some dinner today. So I decided to make stuffed green peppers. So you'll go shopping with me and see how I actually create that recipe. Cause I haven't cooked for you guys in like forever. So anyway, I'm about to get out of here. I thought I looked cute today. I need some more fashion over jeans. These months is getting too big. So fashion over. I need some jeans, boo. But anyway, I'm out of here. As I always say, maybe I should change that I'm out of here. Maybe I should say something else like, 
more to come or something like that. But more to come. I like that. Stay tuned and um, I'll be back. I'm about to call my lift and get out here in these ATL streets. For those who don't know, I reside in Atlanta because I never really tell people where I'm from. Well, where I, where I reside, but I reside in Atlanta. I'm from Detroit. But tomorrow episode, we're going to chop all that up anyway. So, let me call out my car. Oh, also, what you guys missed. So, as leaving the gym, I freaking fell in the street. How crazy is that? I haven't fell in a long time. And I'm so glad I didn't have the camera out and I was recording because that would have been a mess. You guys seeing me fall you know but anyway all right let me call my car let me get roxy together because she cannot be in the room while i'm away roxy be getting into stuff so let me get my life call my car see you guys in a minute so finally made it to ikea so let's go get some food and shop for my new home so finally made it to ikea so let's go shopping y'all So this is my lunch, veggie balls, from Ikea, and can't walk. So Ikea on a fucking weekend, no bueno. It is crowded. I'm giving me a hot dog. You see the line. All the registers are packed. I really couldn't even shop for my house. But so anyway, um, stay tuned because now we're gonna go to the market. Okay, so finally I am out at Kroger's to get my food for tomorrow. And tonight, so I'm gonna make stuff green peppers tonight because that's what I'm feeling. Okay, sweet red wine that my friend bought me. So anyway, I did not get a chance to show you guys the full shopping at Ikea. It was so many people. And then when I went to the grocery store, I was FaceTiming my son. So all you got to see was me pick the green peppers. I promise next time I go shopping that I'll actually have you guys every step of the way. But I can show you what I got from Ikea. Hold on one second. So I got some flowers for my new home from Ikea. I have one real flower or one real plant. So I'm just really getting into my green thumb. I'm not like my mom. So I'm not really like a green thumber, but I'm going to have some, some fake plants along with my real plant for my home. And I'm so excited about my home. I literally cannot wait to show you guys cause it is litty, you know? But anyway, let me go and get everything prepped so I can start cooking. So stay tuned so I can show you guys how I make my stuffed green peppers. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking out what the Vegan Foodie Day consists of. The Vegan Vixen Chronicles blog. So anyway, if you haven't, because I haven't all day, make sure you, I haven't said it all day. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at The Vegan Foodie. And make sure you subscribe to the podcast, The Vegan Vixen Chronicles, which is now on Apple and also on Spotify. And if you haven't already, make sure you purchase the book, The Vegan Chronicles. A, hey, so you ready to be a vegan, volume one. So let me go ahead and get everything prepped so we can get into the kitchen and start to make a meal. So stay tuned. Or I'll be back. I said I wasn't going to say stay tuned no more. I'll be back. Holla back.
Looks yummy. So anyway, I will eat it now, but I'm about to go out to the club with my friends. So I won't get a chance to eat it now. But when I come back, I'm going to try it. Well, I'm going to eat it and give all you guys the updates because I never made it with black rice. It's my first time. So I'm going to give you guys the updates. But I'm about to go to the club with my friends and do hood rat things with my hood rat friends. So stay tuned because I'm taking you with me the whole day. Don't forget this is the vegan vixen vlog. So a day with the vegan foodie. So um, in a minute, I'm going to be turned up. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yesterday was a jam-packed day. I know I said I was going to give you guys 24 hours of me and I had so much stuff planned. But once I got with my friends and we started drinking, the day just eluded me. So I hope you guys really appreciate my first ever day in the life of the vegan foodie. I got my peppers in here because I didn't even get a chance to eat my pepper yesterday. So... I hate microwaving, but I had to put it in the microwave. I'm about to bust it down, Tatiana, bust it down. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at The Vegan Foodie. Make sure you guys also download, subscribe, listen to the podcast, The Vegan Vixen Chronicles. I have more episodes coming up, more product reviews. Um, I'm just giving you guys all I need. 2020 2020 on me baby so i'm about to eat my food so stay tuned for more from the vegan vixen the vegan foodie the vegan vixen chronicles if you have not got the book the vegan foodie volume one a hey, so you ready to be a vegan make sure you download that it's on amazon um i'm about to eat my food y'all so stay tuned for more so I'm enjoying my pepper. I wish you guys could really see it. Let me show you. So I gotta eat it with a fork and a knife because it's so scrumptious. And I know you guys are like, ah, oh, but that's the black rice. So that's what it is. It's not burnt, it's just black rice. So anyway. out of here but make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel make sure you follow me on instagram all that good stuff this pepper is so popping i have the ingredients down below so stay tuned for more from the vegan foodie i'll see you guys tomorrow